Hola, buenos días. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm at the beautiful uh, Melia Sky in Barcelona. My name is Apoorv Shamaria and I'm the Chief Revenue Officer of Rate Gain. And it's a pleasure here to be sitting with Enrique, who's the Cluster General Manager for the Melia Group. Uh, thank you, Enrique, for hosting Rate Gain at your offices and at this beautiful property. My pleasure. It is really my pleasure. So, Enrique, is it tough to work here with this distractingly beautiful view <laughs> across Barcelona? Well, uh, I wouldn't say distracting, but a uh, pleasure. But, you know, sometimes um, it is also a relief because uh, these beautiful uh, views uh, allow you to disconnect a little bit uh, sometimes when you need it, no? and just jump out of the office and come here and enjoy uh, like other clients do. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Enrique, and I'll throw a curveball at you. Tell us something which we can't, our viewers can't find on the internet. I would say that I've been working for the hospitality for 25 years, more or less. And I am privileged because I started uh, working as a waiter, making beds, uh, as a steward, uh, cleaning, I started working in, in, in luxury yachts and I have to say that that's a tough work huh? because uh, you, you are waking up very early because you need to clean the drops of the, of the water uh, early in the morning you know, to, to have everything perfect. It was very funny because while studying I was waiting so bad the summer to come or the weekend to come because I was enjoying so much what I was doing to be able to pay my, my university, which uh, was always related with the hospitality. And, and then I realized that uh, when I was happy, was when I was interacting with the people, preparing things, uh, seeing how the service that I was preparing was impacting them in their faces because uh, this is a very um, interactive uh, industry. No? What do you do? You see the result instantly response, yes. because you see the face of the client, no? whether they're happy or not. No? And, and it's not about having the best coffee or having the best uh, milk. It's about transmitting the most careful or the most loving coffee that you have made special for that client. No? So that really made me feel, feel in love, fell in love with, with this industry. And this is when and, and I fully realized that uh, I was really made for this. I've worked in three different companies uh, in, in four different cities with many different um, uh, responsibilities. But uh, I would say that my, the secret of my success has always been uh, to be able to be in the right moment, in the right place at the right time, which is something important too. Yes. No? Uh, and that's not something that comes necessarily with the luck. No? You, you need to be always ready to go with your family and the, the luggage is ready. Yes. No? Because sometimes opportunities are happening elsewhere. elsewhere. And also to have had a great team. So here's where they have made me better and I've made them better. No, so I've been very lucky to be very successful in my, in my, in my hotels because of, of my team and because of seeing things that others didn't see, no, which is something that my boss is always telling me. No, you have this uh, ability to see things uh, for, for the future no, and, and to be a very strategic person uh, and, and, and to understand perfectly how to reach that point having covered and having uh, all the, the, the needs covered to, to reach it uh, successful. So, as you've gone about your career, uh, at times have you felt that uh, you've entered a hotel as the general manager and the team has not been uh, like truly exceptional and uh, you had to really work hard on getting them to your higher standards and how did you go about doing it? 
I would say that the secret for that is to understand which is the competency level of each of your team members and to have the right um, leadership uh, way of working with them at the right time. Because you might have somebody uh, with a high um, uh, level of uh, um, knowledge, but not a high level of attitude yes, at that time. Yes. So you need to understand how to, to work with that. Because if you don't do it well, no, that person being a leader of his or her department uh, can um, bring either a lot of positive things or a lot of negative things. And same person uh, changes, no? because we all have our lives, our uh, pressures, our personal and professional um, uh, things that are impacting um, our, our, our way to deliver our job, right? So, so we need to be a lot more than just a leader and a boss. Absolutely. Uh, between the four hotels, Melia Hotels and Barcelona, yeah. uh, how big is your team? Well, I only managed two, two of the five. Yeah. We, we have five because we have the trip Aeropuerto, we have the trip Condal Mar, uh, the trip Apollo, and then the two Melias, the Melias Sky and the Melias Aria. So the cluster that I manage is only in, in charge of the Melia brand hotels, which are two. And, and between the two hotels, I have uh, around, depending on the time of the year, but I would say that an, an, an average of 300 people working, yeah. Tell us about your normal day, like what time do you get in and how do you plan your day? And That question is difficult because you never have a normal day, <laughs> right? Uh, which is something that I love in, in, in my industry. So you might have planned a meeting, but something else comes up and... You always have something else coming up, right? Because we work with clients and... and, and clients and, take priority. And, yeah, so things happen every day. But I would say that an average day Okay, which would be the most similar thing to what you have uh, asked, would be starting my journey at around 8 here in the hotel, in either of the two hotels, and leaving back home between 7 and 8. That would be a normal day. It would be a normal day. But as I said, uh, it's um, very intense in terms of timing. Yeah. No? So, so you really like to have this vocation inside, but if you like it, I mean, I don't have any complaint about that because I just love what I do and I love how every day is different, but you always have something different every day, no? and every day you can make somebody's day, day no? it's which a is huge a, privilege. yes, not only from the outside clients but also the internal clients no? which is the most touching part no? in my opinion of course in my opinion is one of the most important things to build a great leader yes. when your team loves you yeah. because you are recognizing them and you are understanding them and you are helping them so Enrique this is such a beautiful hotel I would love to see it uh, should we go around and you could show absolutely. me absolutely you cannot leave without seeing <laughs> the hotel yeah let's go Thank you, Enrique, for the beautiful uh, tour of the hotel. Mm -hmm. It's a very impressive building. Thank you. We are now at the level and uh, I, I guess this is where, you know, your regular customers or your business customers come and unwind and... Yeah, well, this, this hotel is very particular. Actually, we call it a leisure hotel with B because we combine business and, leisure. business and leisure and we combine it very well, which is one of the, the, the best things we do in Melia. And, and the level lounge is for the, the level clients. And in this hotel, in this particular hotel, uh, which has two categories on the same building, we have a four superior uh, hotel uh, category and a five star category in the same building. The, the level lounge belongs to the five star category. And so we have two separated and differentiated breakfasts, two different types of rooms, two different types of receptions and, and two different types of experiences for, for our clients. So is that specific to Melia or do other hotels also have the same in one building? To, no, to have two categories in the same building is unique from it's this unique. building. And I'm not sure if it's unique in, in the entire country. 
because yeah. I haven't heard any anymore. I also yes. haven't. It seems like it could be yeah. like. <laughs> yeah, but uh, to have the, the level in in the same hotel, it's a standard. So we we really have uh, uh, this upper uh, and superior types of rooms with more services uh, included in it with a lounge where the client can enjoy some tapas and some drinks yeah. during the day and a completely different type of experience and, and starting in the checking which is a different it's not a desk anymore it's a table where you sit and, and you start your your journey in a different way tell us a little bit about melia it's uh, such a prestigious famous brand uh, where is the company based what is the company about well, the company was born in Mallorca it's, and it was founded in 1956, so it's a family company and um, today or nowadays it's one of the largest companies worldwide uh, and one of the top in Europe and with uh, 308 properties in wow. um, four different um, continents and 40 countries, uh, here I'm including both uh, um, ongoing properties in the pipeline and uh, with seven different brands so we have uh, different types of services for different types of needs and different types of clients. So what makes Melia a unique brand like how is it different from your other competitors in the market? Well I would say that the best thing we do is how we understand hospitality and how we understand the delivery of the service. So being Mediterranean, you know, which is something that we have in our DNA, right, yeah. uh, I think is uh, with all the humility, is the best thing we do and the most the clients want and the most the clients appreciate. The, the way we interact, the way we understand their needs, the way we make everything possible to make them feel good and to make them feel happy while they are enjoying their experiences in, in our properties. Of course, combined with uh, uh, very high uh, standards of uh, quality uh, in order to, to make them understand or to make them feel that promise in, in no matter in which um, property they, they are. So, thank you NDK for telling me so much about Melia. What is the vision for Melia as a group? The vision, I would say, if, if we set uh, a context and, and we look at uh, what we want to be in, to, in 2020, for example, you know, we definitely want to be one of the top companies in the, in the, in the world, uh, one of the two top groups uh, worldwide, uh, both in the upper and, and, and middle scale and in the urban and, and leisure segments. Uh, strengthening uh, our leadership uh, in this segment and being recognized not only for, for how we make our business uh, but uh, as a world leader in excellence, responsibility and sustainability. That's also something very, very important, uh, reinforced uh, due to the, um, the family you know, because we are a family company and, and we have very strong values in sustainability and responsibility. So one of our main goals, goals is to uh, strength our communities when, where we have our hotels. And we are very focused with our teams uh, delivering uh, or helping or, uh, as I said, uh, um, trying to balance the impact that we make in, in where we have a hotel. So thank you for sharing the vision for Melia and to be one of the most recognized and respected uh, hotel companies by 2020 globally, uh, revenue and marketing are going to play a very important role. Uh, so how is the team structure? Do they work closely together? And Well, this is key. Yeah, this is key. I would say this is key because we are uh, no more seeing technology as something in the future, but something of the present. No? So it is key to, to be able to work with partners such as you, uh, uh, which are giving us not only the solutions we need, no, but also the best match, no, which is, I think, the secret of our success, because uh, 
Uh, you are very flexible in, in the needs that company has uh, because we have uh, specific systems and we have specific needs and we have uh, many different destinations with their specific needs and you were so flexible to combine and to match all these needs with our systems and to be able to be very flexible and agile in, in, in rating no? and, 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 and setting up this platform where we have the open pricing which is uh, linked with our uh, internal system and then we can be uh, very flexible but also fast uh, understanding how the environment moves and, and how to maximize uh, any possibility or minimize any risk. Thank you. So what rate gain products uh, is Melia using if you can tell the audience a little bit about it? And yeah, we uh, nowadays we are mostly involved with rest gain which is uh, as I was uh, intro introducing uh, before um, the tool we use to move or to understand our pricing. And so, um, actually, I would say that Melia has reinvented the way uh, pricing is set and uh, has reinvented it together with, with, with you, uh, with what we call open pricing. So, so it has been a very wise and, and, and efficient uh, match uh, where the teams can can really be uh, anticipating any any flow of the market and then uh, maximizing the opportunities because any other system is too rigid yeah. and you are missing opportunities no? and, and we are very happy I have to say to, to be able to have this tool and to be uh, very fast in, in understanding the flows and, and to be the first no in, in our industry when you're the first you hit twice yeah absolutely the, the result. Thank you for the kind words about Great Gain. I think we also feel very honored and privileged to be supporting you. What do you think uh, are the strengths of Great Gain as a company? You've worked 25 years in hospitality. You would have worked with various companies. Mm -hmm. So what is Great Gain's strength according to you? Well, um, it's not only the tool that I've mentioned. It's, uh, it's uh, what's behind, right? So it's, uh, again, here uh, the people is... Uh, the most important thing uh, so it's not only in the hospitality but also in any company so to be able to sit down and to have this flexibility where you are coming and saying listen which are your needs and then uh, making all the efforts or the possible efforts to deliver the solution the right solution not not a solution um, not bringing the company to your solution but bringing your company to the to what Melia needs right and, and this is as so I said before, it's not only finding the right tool, but matching the right company. And this is where I understand that uh, we have a successful story uh, in the present and in the future to come. Thank you, Enrique. So at Rate Gain, we always take pride in being very customer centric. And we believe that the only right point of view is the customer point of view. Yeah. I, I have to say that I am not a specialist in revenue, but uh, I, I have to say that uh, what I'm saying is because uh, my, my teams and the revenue uh, manager is the, uh, directly reporting to me as well as to the, to the regional one. No? And, and, and the tool so far is working well. Um, and like we say in Spain, uh, no news, good news. No, because we are still in, in the process yeah. of uh, fully implementing yeah. uh, all the processes and the, and the tool. But uh, so far, I'm so happy to see how flexible we can be any day no, with, with all the difficulties we have. Because in this hotel, for example, commercially speaking, it's two hotels. Yeah. Because we have a five star and a four superior star and each of the properties have their own segmentation and, and it's yeah, not easy. Yeah, absolutely, it's very complicated. So, yes, so so I have to say that I'm very happy here. I mean, before, before, and I'm talking about maybe six years, seven yeah. years, uh, you could not just change the entire pricing for, for the rest of the year, let's say that way, um, three times a week, because you were, um, um, consolidating or you were confirming business and then you were you were being forced to do that because uh, the revenue manager would just quit and leave. No? It's, yeah. it's just too stressful, too much work. 
and you are easing that process so much that Thank you. Uh, it's really giving you time to think, to take the right decisions because the action is not taking you that long anymore. Thank you. So would you recommend rate gain to your other hospitality colleagues? Uh, well, I have to say that if I am happy, no, and, yeah. and, and we are very happy, and we are very happy so far, uh, I think um, if you want to dedicate uh, more efforts to the important and not to the urgent, yeah. right, uh, you have the right tool. You are the, the partners that are helping us nowadays to, to be able to step back and, and take the decisions. Because in the past, as I said before, the, the manager was so involved in, in the process that they did not have the time to, to take out the best of themselves, which, which is a shame because they are specialists. Yeah. So they see things that you don't see. You're just uh, taking decisions based on their um, um, excels and, and their, their information. Yeah. But it's so important to, to take the right decision together and, and they, have, they need to have time for that. They need to be able to step out of the, of the routine tasks. Absolutely, and, and think more strategically. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So are there some early results which you would like to share which your hotel is now seeing using the rate gain tools? Here I would uh, go back to my previous sentence where I said no news, good it's news, good news yeah. because uh, I see the revenue uh, department relaxed and I don't see them stressful. Uh, they were uh, fearful when, when we made the, the, the change, the yeah, implementation, yeah. but I have to say that uh, surprisingly, it went very smooth. Thank and, you. I, and I want to say it's surprisingly because normally these tech yeah. apps and this technology, uh, they normally take time to be settled and to be really uh, yeah. working uh, right and, and in, in a cruising speed, right? And it was impressive. We had no issue, no major issue. I mean, they were, of course, uh, um, concerned because as any change. Any changes there, right? Concerned. But uh, here is something on your side, very positive, right? Because you were so prepared, you anticipated any, any issue that we could have that uh, we actually didn't have it, at least in my property. Thank you. Right, so, so very happy for that and I congratulate with you because uh, any change we've had in the past, it has had some um, uh, stress uh, coming from one or another department. So, so far very good. So, thank you Enrique, thank you for your time and thank you for the kind words. On behalf of the rate gain team and all the employees who serve you, uh, thank you for giving us the privilege of serving you. And we are only successful because our clients are successful. So thank you so much. It is my pleasure, really.